so i think in last session i'm discussing about uh, your accident study so basically uh, i'm saying that how uh, this accident study is important for your indian contest so the problem of accident is very acute in road transportation due to your complex flow pattern of vehicular traffic due to presence of mixed uh, type of vehicle and also the pedestrian on the we are discussing these things so i am discussing these things how to cure road accident so the problem of accident is very acute in uh, road transportation due to complex flow pattern of vehicular traffic presence of mixed type of vehicle and the pedestrian on the road so i discuss all these things so traffic accident may involve property damage personal injury and also death so one of the main objective of the traffic engineers is to provide safe traffic moments so the accident study the accident study for uh, or the road accident that occurs from time to time on an existing road surface will be studied by our traffic uh, engineers the road accident cannot be totally in prevented because you know in india mixed traffic system is operated and also uh, where the traffic system is uh, is not mixed also at that particular place accidents will be happen so uh, road accident cannot be properly prevented we know these things so the accident rate can be decreased substantially by suitable traffic engineering and management measures so what we do we just uh, decrease this rate that means we just decrease the dirt rate by uh, suitable traffic engineering and management planning or by taking traffic engineering and uh, certain uh, management measures so the traffic engineer has to carry out systematic accident studies to investigate the cause of accidents and to take preventive measures in term of design and control so it is essential to analyze very individual sorry it is essential to analyze every individual accident and to maintain chore by attendance or uh, uh, how accident records or how the accident will be taking places so i think this all i am telling that basically cause of road accident is road users so driver pedestrian passenger driver age of driver fatigue over speed these all things govern the cause of accident so i am discussing these all things environmental factor also uh, each uh, in our uh, uh, cause of accident study so the various objective of accident study that uh, i am telling that to study the cause of accident and to suggest corrective treatment at potential location next to evaluate existing design regulation and control measure chat it will be sufficient for fulfilling our uh, or that will minimize our accident or not so it will also check from uh, governing body from time to time next is to support proposed change in design regulation and control measures in the selected zones next is to carry out before and after study Uh, and after implementing change and to demonstrate the improvement in the accident problem next is to make computations of financial loss due to accidents and also to provide economic justification for the improvement measures suggested by the traffic engineers so these are all about your various objective next is next step i'm discussing about traffic analysis so collection of accident data next is your accident report and next is your accident records so accident studies and records so here collection of accident data so the various steps involved in traffic accident study are first collection of accident data next is your preparation of accident report third is your preparation of location file where the accident will be taking place next is your preparation of diagram showing the type of collision that means how or from how the accident will take taking place in that accident uh, 
in which direction on in which way traffic will be um, traffic will be caused that particular accident or for a particular type of accident how many vehicles will collide at that place so these all things could be prepared in a diagram for by the traffic engineers next is application of the above records for suggesting measures to prevent similar accident at the same location and uh, how uh, collection of accident data will be taking place if here it is written as a general so in general we take time date time person involved in accident classification of accident like serious minor next is location description and detail of location of accident next is your details of vehicle involved so registration number description of vehicle but i think i discuss these all things in your last session so next is your uh, accident report so collection of accident data so collection of accident data is the first step in the accident study so a standard form for collection the data has been suggested by the indian road congress on the standard form is your irc 53 1982 so the detail of the collected are uh, uh, i discuss already that first is collection of accident data is first is general so the time person involved in the accident and their particulars classification of accident like fatal serious minor property damage and these all are coming general next is your location so description detail of the location of accident supported by the diagram next is your details of vehicle involved so registration number make and description of the vehicle loading details and vehicle defect next one is your nature of accident so condition of vehicle involved detail of collision and pedestrians or object involved uh, damage injuries casualty it is these are all are come under the nature of accident next uh, one is your road condition so detail of road geometrics whether the road sketch is straight or curved surface characteristics such as dry wet or slippery it is a next one is a traffic condition so type vehicle in the type of vehicle in the traffic flow traffic volume density it is a next one is your primary cause of accident so various possi possible cause and the primary cause of accident we have also take during collection of accident data next next is your other uh, probable cause secondary and contributing cause for accident next is your accident cost and this is the last collection of our accident data point so accident cost so the total cost of accident such such as property damage personal injury casualty these are computed in the terms of rupees next is accident report so accident report so the accident should be reported to police authority who would further collect required detail and take legal action especially in more serious accidents involving injuries casualty or severe damage to property so accident uh, should be reported to police authority and what police authority do we all know because everyone see the happening of accident in nearby area or uh, in their own surrounding area so what will happen the accident should be reported to police authority who would further collect required details and take legal action especially in more serious accident involving injury casualty or severe damage to the property now the accident report of the individuals involved may be separately taken the accident data should be collected as given above and the accident report is prepared with all facts which might be useful in subsequent analysis claim for compensation evaluation of oxy accident cost etc so accident report is useful in subsequent analysis claim for compensation and evaluation of accident it is so these are all uh, i think accident report points next is your accident records so accident records are maintained giving all particulars of the accidents location other detail so the the record may be maintained by means of location file spot maps collision diagram and condition diagram which i discuss uh, one by one so what happened 
द फर्स्ट एक्सीडेंट स्टडी एंड रिकॉर्ड सो वट वट वी डू इन एक्सीडेंट स्टडी एंड रिकॉर्ड सो वेरियस स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन एक्सीडेंट स्टडी एंड रिकॉर्ड फर्स्ट इज कलेक्शन ऑफ एक्सीडेंट डाटा वी कलेक्ट आवर एक्सीडेंट डाटा ऑल्सो आवर आई आर सी बी फॉर स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एंड ऑन डेट फॉर्म वी हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पॉइंट ऑलरेडी मैंशन फ्रॉम ए टू आई थिंक आई फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज जनरल सेकेंड इज लोकेशन थर्ड इज डिटेल ऑफ एक्सीडेंट बॉल नेक्स्ट इज योर नेचर ऑफ एक्सीडेंट एंड नेक्स्ट इज योर रोड कंडीशन ट्रैफिक कंडीशन सो दिस वेरियस पॉइंट विच कम अंडर कलेक्शन ऑफ एक्सीडेंट डाटा वेन वी कलेक्ट एक्सीडेंट डाटा देन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एक्सीडेंट एक्सीडेंट रिपोर्ट्स टू बी स्टार्ट सो द एक्सीडेंट शुड बी रिपोर्टेड टू द पुलिस अथॉरिटी बिकॉज दे आर द अथॉरिटी असाइंड फॉर एक्सीडेंट रिपोर्ट कलेक्शन सो बेसिकली द एक्सीडेंट शुड बी रिपोर्टेड टू द पुलिस अथॉरिटी वुड फर्दर कलेक्ट रिकॉर्ड डिटेल एंड टेक लीगल एक्शन एंड दे द एक्सीडेंट डाटा शुड बी कलेक्टेड एज एज पुलिस अथॉरिटी एंड द एक्सीडेंट रिपोर्ट इज प्रिपेयर विद ऑल फैक्ट्स विच माइट बी यूजफुल इन सब्सिक्वेंट एनालिसिस एंड ऑल्सो फॉर मिनिमाइजिंग द रेट ऑफ एक्सीडेंट एंड ऑल्सो claim for compensation and evaluation of accident cost so these are all point relevant to accident report and next one is accident records uh, first collection of accident data then accident report preparation then preparation of location file or preparation of diagram showing the type of collision and application of um, records for suggesting major to prevent similar accident at the same location so accidents reports are maintained giving all particulars of the accident location other details so the record may be maintained by means of location file a spot map collision diagram and condition diagram as given below so location file so these are useful to keep a record of the locations where accident have taken place within the concerned zone and to identify the location of high accident incidents location files should be maintained by each police station for the respective jurisdiction so location file you should to keep a check on the location of accident and to identify point of high accident incidents so here it is already clear location file next is your spot map so spot map so accident location spot map so accident by spots pins or symbol on the road map of the locality so i think that this, uh, you all see these things because these are quite um, i think quite obvious point so um, um, where your accident uh, accident taking place so accident location spot map so accident by spot pins or symbol on the road map of the locality so a map of Suitable scale so one mm is equal to four to six mm may be used for the preparation of a spot map of urban accident. So the common uh, spot map or the common symbol used for your used for your spot maps are are as follow. So spot maps spot maps so accident by spots pins or symbol on road map. So basically here you see here just wait here you see. we have just wait here we have type of accident so here we have type of type of accident type of accident here we have type of accident next here we have fatal f a t a l fatal f a t a l here we have fatal here we have non fatal here i am writing non fatal so 
for type of accident motor vehicle or pedestrian we have various various symbol so first is your motor vehicle so i write it as motor vehicle or pedestrian type of accident if it is motor vehicle or your pedestrian i write pedestrian as p so for fatal symbol be huge we use generally black mark so here it is looking like this it is your fatal accident next is your non fatal so non fatal is looking like this this next is your Uh, if your type of accident is with motor vehicle or pedestrian be uh, huge accident spot maps and accident location spot maps so accident by spot pins or symbol so these are basic symbols then uh, for a particular type of accident we use these symbols on the road map or the locality where accident is taking place so you must uh, uh, keep the point in also mind that is spot maps so accident by spot pins or symbol on road map next next is your next is your full i think condition diagram so this is not condition diagram this is your full agent diagram so you also have kept one thing in mind that is your full agent diagram this is not condition this is your just to it this is your full agent diagram Collision. See you. This is your collision diagram. So, this diagram depict this. This diagram will we have collision diagram. So, this is your collision diagram. So, here if you see. Uh, this diagram depicts the detail of the accident location uh, and show the appro approximate part of the vehicles and pedestrian involved in the accident and also other object with which the vehicles have collided. So collision diagram are most useful to compare the accident pattern before and after the remedial measures have been taken. So a typical collision diagram and symbols used are also indicated in this uh, figure so this collision diagram uh, this collision diagram if you observe here from different different direction many vehicles are to be coming so this i think this is your uh, this is your collision diagram also we have condition diagram so this this is your condition diagram and we also have a collision diagram so this is your condition diagram suppose just wait this is your condition diagram this is okay this is your condition diagram this is your condition diagram next diagram we have our collision diagram so condition diagram is also you so it is your diagram showing all the physical condition of accident location to be studied and features generally to be shown in the diagram are road rail unit curb line next is your curbs bridges culverts sign signal 
obstruction to vision etc by using the symbol so this is your condition diagram here many things have to be seen in this condition diagram so a condition diagram is a drawing of the accident location drawn to a scale showing all the important physical features of the road and adjoining area so the important features generally to be seen in the condition diagram with their dimension mark there in are the width of the roadway shoulders median if any other geometric details such as curve curves curb line bridge culvert electric post trees and all detail of roadway condition obstruction to vision property line signs signals etc standard symbols are used in showing various detail and the condition and provision diagram may be combined together in a single sketch if it required necessary so this is your condition diagram here if you see in this condition diagram various features various things are to be seen here you see we have a tree here if you observe here you see we have a tree here we have a tree here also we have a tree here also we have a tree here we have also a tree here we have also a tree so various various features like your the bit of roadway shoulders maybe any any other geometric details curves curve line bridge culvert electric post trees and other detail of roadway condition obstruction to vision property lines sign signal etc these all are shown your condition diagram next is your collision diagram so you all just see here next one is your collision collision diagram so i just wait collision diagram this is your collision diagram this year is your collision diagram so what will happen this diagram depicts the detail of accident location and so the approximate part of the vehicles and pedestrian involved in the accident and also other objects with which the vehicle have collided so collision diagram are most useful to confirm the accident pattern before and after the remedial measure have been taken so collision diagram so the diagram shows the approximate path of vehicle pedestrian involved in the accident and this diagram is useful to confirm the accident pattern i already said that uh, it is it is useful to confirm the accident pattern before and after the remedial measures have been taken and uh, to uh, the step uh, which we take to minimize the accident next relate to accident victim so the, the most essential and urgent requirement is to provide first aid and other medical assistance to the injured as quickly as possible so in many places in india if you see if at any place accident would be happen then many many people will just make a circle around that people no one will starting help them just many people will start uh, taking pictures of that uh, person or the pictures of that accident and uploading in social media they do not provide first aid and other medical assistance to the injured people because if uh, because they also in india it might be possible that they fear with the police investigation that if they uh, give them some assistance or some medical assistance to that people then it, it may be possible that police will ask certain questions from that people also so in india the general perception of a people that they do not want to involve in any matter so they just keep that person on road and they busy in their work so first the most essential and urgent requirement is to provide first aid and first aid and other medical assistance to the injured person or injured people as quickly as possible so it is also essential to arrange Uh, to transport the serious injured person to the nearest hospital with approximate facility so it is desirable that an ambulance equipped with emergency treatment facility should reach the accident spot as quickly as possible along with a duty doctor and supporting staff who could take care of the accident victim but these are only on map or only on paper 
uh, in India because again uh, the uh, it, it is also seen from my side that at many places if accident are to be uh, taking place then the seriously injured people will not uh, will will not be reached by any people to the nearest hospital because of the fear of police and also if some person will call the hospital or call the police then police will came or the ambulance will came after the death of that that injured person because in india everything will come with or everything will play with delay because if the person who is uh, injured they waiting for two hour on uh, on accident places no any ambulance or no any medical facility will be given to them and if ambulance will came then not it is equipped with emergency treatment facility and also uh, no any duty doctor and supporting staff will complete that accident so in india uh, uh, in india many person will dead at at the accident spot point but in origin country or in developed country uh, they have fully equipped am ambulance and also emergency treatment uh, is provided in that ambulance and also the ambulance will reach as quickly as possible at the uh, at the your uh, accident uh, point because if they do not uh, reach at accident point as soon as possible in developed country then police will take a strict action against that ambulance or driver so everything uh, so in virgin country everyone follow the rules and regulation so uh, next uh, next accident investigation and analysis so just wait next is your accident investigation and analysis so accident investigation and analysis may be carried out scientifically in the following three stages first is your accident investigation next is your analysis of individual accident next one is your statistical analysis of accident so these are explained in uh, uh, in different paragraphs so just wait first one is your first one is your accident investigation so uh, what what we do in accident investigation so the important objective is to find the primary and contributing cause of accident so the most common indicated so most common cause indicated in police report is rash and negligent driving by the driver so therefore it is desirable to find whether the driver involved in the accident were under the influence of alcohol or the vehicle had exceeded the legal speed limit or the divine speed limit or they, there was any defect in the vehicle or the brake had failed or the brake were applied but the vehicle escaped due to slippery surface or the prevailing pavement conditions. So by making careful observation, noting required measurement, conducting tests and carrying out scientific analysis, it is possible to estimate at the approach speed of the vehicle before the accident. So a scientific approach for accident investigation to arrive at the primary and other cause of accident suggested by the suggested by the your uh, police report or your traffic engineers so recording general observations so observations and measures so what are the observations and measures first is your, a mobile laboratory may be kept ready in all major city which should reach the accident spot as soon as possible after an accident so this mobile laboratory may consist of a vehicle with traffic engineer and supporting staff so you you just observed in due course of time in india uh, this all measures will be taken by our uh, transport department that means ministry of transport highway and research uh, development because government will see on this matter government will know that uh, in india every year five to six lakh people will die due to accidents so these all things will happen in india that 
uh, a mobile laboratory will keep ready in all major city we should reach the accident spot as soon as possible after an accident and this mobile laboratory may consist of a vehicle with a traffic engineer so uh, if anyone want to specialize in uh, tra transportation then they have right future because they may become traffic engineers in due course of time so the mobile laboratory may consist of a vehicle with traffic engineer and supporting staff and equipment such as uh, breath analyzer to measure the alcohol content in the breath of driver equipment to collect and store blood sample if necessary and next is instrument to evaluate some of the essential driver characteristics next is speed resistance tester to find the friction coefficient of the surface where the accident took place under the same pavement condition dry or wet so the following investigation will be carried out to obtain the required data for scientific analysis of the accident so uh, recording general observation partially or full break application collision and condition diagram environmental condition pavement surface condition driver test alcohol content vision friction time age distance region i think i discuss all these things next is your speed resistance of pavement surface speed distance speed resistance speed of the vehicle vehicle test pavement size of vehicle indicators type type of tires mirrors brake steering these all are taken during accident investigation process next is the probable cause of accident type of accident position of vehicle and other involved in accident next is cost analysis so these all points kept under accident investigation next is analysis of individual accident so each road accident is to be analyzed by the traffic engineer to draw sound conclusion with reference to the major cause of accident and other contributing cause so a few simple type of vehicle accident vehicular accident are first a moving vehicle collides with the stationary object a moving vehicle collides with a moving object third one is uh, two vehicle approaching from different direction collide at, uh, at an intersection rear in rear in collision of two moving vehicles so these are all quite obvious points so uh, careful observation of a skid mark and assessment whether brakes were applied fully or partially measurement of length of a skid mark due to partial and full skidding recording the relative position of vehicle and objects involved in the accident and preparation of collision diagram supplemented with photographs and also details of accident injury and damage condition of condition of pavement surface shoulder and other surface through which the vehicles involved in the accident have moved next environmental and weather condition at the time of accident preparation of condition diagram of accident location with relevant dimension preparation of accident investigation reports or uh, uh, sorry reports test on drivers involved in the accident so analysis of analysis of breath of driver involved in the accident for alcohol content if alcohol indicated is uh, is above the prescribed limit collection of blood sample for further analysis in the laboratory in case the driver is dead test may be conducted on the spinal fluid for uh, for estimating the alcohol content if any next is test on driver characteristics such as reaction time distance judgment angle of clear vision if the accident has occurred during night clear vision and clear recovery test may also be conducted on the driver in addition to the above test uh, set so analysis of individual accident is uh, came after uh, came after these all the points so speed resistance of pavement surface so the average speed resistance of road surface carriage and shoulders along the speed marks are noticed should be measured and then the measurement may be made under the prevailing condition of the surface it may be dry or wet conditions soon after the accident using portable speed resistance tester or any suitable equipment so uh, analysis of individual traffic accident so but each road accident is to be analyzed by the traffic engineer to draw sound conclusion i say already this things that sound conclusion with reference to the major causes of accident and other contributing causes so therefore one of the objective is to compute the original speed of the vehicle involved in this type of accident as it is important to find whether the vehicle had over speeding 
a few simple type of vehicular accidents are uh, i think so uh, moving a few simple type of vehicular accident are listed under following category so a moving vehicle collide with a stationary object which is collapsible like an electric pole which is made of a hollow metal uh, metal cylinder so a vehicle a moving vehicle collide with a uh, stationary object uh, it it will be happen it will be happen in our uh, accident process so just wait So, a uh, moving vehicle collides with a uh, stationary object which is collapsible because, like an electric pole, which is made up of a hollow metal cylinder. Next is a moving um, moving vehicle collides with a uh, stationary object which is a rigid structure. Next is a moving vehicle collides with a movable object like a part vehicle. Next is a two vehicle approaching from different direction collide at an intersection. Next is head on collision of two vehicle approaching from opposite direction. Next is your rear end collision of two moving vehicles. So the method of accident analysis of two simple cases for estimating the original speed of vehicles with work, uh, work uh, under this accident study uh, are presented uh, here. First is your uh, first is your statical analysis of accident. So how uh, your uh, statical analysis of accident will be happening. Uh, this is, uh, I think, uh, quite obvious point. So the statical analysis of road accident helps to assess the effectiveness of various measures to decrease the accident risk. Right? Thus, the analysis estimates the relative safety of identified road stretches or zone or city. So. As the mobility increases, the probability of accident also increases because if on a particular section of road, if number of vehicles traveling or if the traffic volume is high, then mobility is increased. And if the mobility is increased, then the probability of accident also increases. So the number of accident is found to increase with the number of road users or the number of vehicles and pedestrians on the roads. So as the vehicle movement and the uh, populations are on the increase the total number of accidents in the study area is likely to increase year after year which is quite obvious point because uh, you you see as the vehicle movement and the population are on the increase so uh, you see uh, in your childhood the vehicle movement and the population uh, around your surrounding are very less but as time passes uh, your vehicle movement and the, the number of vehicle increases day to day and also population increase day to day so the total number of accident uh, which you all observe in your area is likely to increase year after year so the effectiveness of traffic engineering regulation enforcement and educational measures may therefore be judged from the changes in the annual accident uh, annual accident rate and uh, these are uh, these are formulated in the course of time so the accident rate may be expressed as the number of accidents in a year due to the combined efforts of the number of vehicles and the population. Next one is the vehicle movement in vehicle kilometer and the population. Next one is the relative accident rate may also be expressed in terms of various roadway and traffic factors. So the accident drawn stretches of different road may be assessed by finding the accident density per unit length of road and by a statical study of accident occurrence at a particular road or location or a zone of study for a long period of time, it is possible to predict with a reasonable accuracy the probability of accident occurrence per day or the relative safety of accident classes of road user or vehicle classes in that location. So the accident rate may be expressed at the number of accidents in a year and also the accident drawn a stretch of different road may be assisted by finding the accident density for unit length of the road. So uh, these are all for today's session. In next session or in next class, I think on 
on next week we start from this point and also discuss statistical analysis of accident methods so we have different different uh, statistical analysis of of uh, your accident uh, accident method one is your registration analysis and next one is your next one is your poison distribution next one is use of chai spa test next one is your quality control method so i have discussed these things detail uh, detail in due course of time so so thank you